guys, it's Kelly. Welcome to Vlogmas Day. Seven or eight? I don't know. It'll be in the description. I am sitting here. Yeah, I gotta do something with these. Um, I'm going to, uh, I've moved, I'm just kind of sitting at my vanity and I was supposed to go to the doctor and have that test run today. That didn't happen. <laughs> I called and canceled because, um, and I'm just using, uh, to take my polish off, which this has always worked for me. It's the non-acetone. Um, it's just Beauty Secrets. I get this at Sally Beauty Supply. And, um, yeah, my hair's just been up in a knot. Um, I'm just gonna try to take off what's left of, I mean, like you can see my nerves. I've just been, um, but yeah, I'm going to be taking that off um, while we're talking. I um, I didn't go. I called in early this morning and canceled. Um, even though I was supposed to be there at 7 o'clock, I called at like 6.30 and left a message. I woke up at 4 o'clock this morning. So sick. I mean, like, really, really sick. Um, you can still see my cheeks are just a little pinker than they normally are. Um, I don't know if I am um, coming down with something, but my stomach has been really, really bad. But like I said, I woke up at four o'clock really sick this morning. And so um, I'm just removing my finger polish. <laughs> um, but this stuff does a really good job just with, you know, some cotton puffs, um, some cotton balls. <laughs> um, but, um, I just knew that I needed to kind of try to get some of this off because it was looking so bad in my videos, especially where you can see my hands. And, um, so anyway, it's Thursday and let's see, what's the day? I was watching, um, let's see, today is the seventh, so it's vlog number seven. I'm sorry about that glare just then. Um, but yeah, um, this is probably going to end up going up with the vlog for day number eight because I really don't have that much to do um, today. I just don't feel good. I'm really, really feeling bad. I'm so thankful, though, that um, I was able to get so much pre-filming done for December Daily because tomorrow um, I have a pocket letter swap that I did going up. Uh, my flip book went up today. And then um, I have my pocket letter swap that will be going up tomorrow. I did a pocket letter swap. Um, don't ask me how to say her name. Um, she goes by Graceland. Um, uh, you know, like, she just had that in parentheses. Um, so I'll call her Graceland. Um, but yeah, she, um, I did a pocket letter swap. And she's a, she lives in Sri Lanka. I believe this is the way you say that country name. <laughs> it's the way I've always said it, so I hope so. So you can see it does a really good job. I mean, they're pink just because I've been rubbing on them, but I mean, overall, they're really nice and clean. But, um, I mean, I had picked the majority of it off anyway. Um, so that's going to go up tomorrow, and basically all I did is I just went through the pocket letter and showed you guys, you know, like what I created, how I, um, I fill the pockets and that sort of thing. I'll have another pocket letter video going up, um let's see, maybe over the weekend or the first of the week, something like that. I'm not sure how far out I've got that scheduled. Um, but it's a, um, I pushed it back because, in fact, it may be later next week. I can't remember, but I pushed it back because it was actually a Christmas present for someone. Um, just one of my sweet pals that I've made on, um, from YouTube. Um, we've just become friends and I texted her and told her, that um, to be looking in the mail for something today um, because I was sending her something and I did a pocket letter and um, I added some goodies in there that I knew she would appreciate that were um, fun for her. Um, she loves penguins and so I found some penguin stuff. And so I went ahead and videoed that before I sent it out. And um, I pushed it back so far because I didn't want it to go up before she got it, if that makes sense. So let me just clean the skin now on my fingers where I've been holding this. But that stuff does a really good job. And I know my fingers look red, but that's just because, it's not because there's any residue, it's just simply because 
I'm rubbing them pretty hard to get, see, cause I put several layers of stuff on my nails when I do it. This nail, I don't know if you can see that spot. You wanna know what that is? I was um, trimming my nails and the point, I used like some really pointed um, clippers and I slipped and when I did, this is how thin my nails are. I poked it. Now this was up close to the cuticle when it happened, but I poked it when it was right about in there. You see that white area? I just poked it and it actually pierced my nail. Guys, I just, that's the reason I really enjoy having acrylics. You know, it's, um, this is something I prefer to have because it just seems to be, it protects my nails. Um, they're just, I've trimmed them totally down. I mean, I've just got little nubs. You can see my little nubbies. I didn't clean that one very good, but you won't be able to see it. Um, but yeah, I have such thin nails. And so, um, yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, I found this, I talked to you guys about, and I got some, uh, the Josie Moran oil. I thought about using that before. Um, so I'm going to keep that in mind. I didn't know you would get that at CVS. So thank you, um, for mentioning that. I found this in my stash. It's Provise Skin Tight 1 through 6. This is actually a really expensive item. It came in a boxy charm, and you can get it at, um, Sephora, I think. But it says skin tight one through six. This is oil free, tonic infused with antioxidant rich daisy flower extract and hyaluronic acid to help lighten and brighten skin. And this is the step two, Nutrify. So I think what I'm going to do, it says apply Nutrify after using the Provis Purify and tail drying your face. So after basically cleansing, um, it says draw the compound out with the little stopper here into the medicine dropper and squeeze in approximately five drops into the palm of your hand. Gently rub the solution with your, finger tri with your fingertips to warm and emulsify for an even all over application. Starting at the eyebrows, use your fingertips to massage, nutrify in an upward circular motion into your hairline and temples. And then it says, emulsify and warm other, another five drops of Nutrify. Then start just above your cheekbones and under your eyes. Gently massage in a circular motion down your cheeks, across the bridge of your nose, and into your upper lip area. Then it says, using your palms, massage the remaining solution across your jawline and chin, down your neck, and across the back of your neck. Your skin may feel slightly moist for a moment after application and until Nutrify is completely absorbed. Our recipe nourishes your skin and protects areas that receive the most exposure to the elements. Nutrify may be used multiple times per day and prepares your skin for the Defend, um, which is step 3.0. I thought this was really interesting. I mean, this sounds like something that would be really good for mature skin, and it's not really like a moisturizing oil. So I think what I'm going to do is use this during the day, like first thing in the morning, I'm gonna try it. And then, um, you know, if I don't wear makeup during the day, like, you know, when the days that I stay home, I think what I'll do is, um, you know, I may use it a second time during the day. I think anything that I'm doing that is moisturizing and bringing circulation, you know, by the circular motions to the skin, um, it's bound to help wrinkles. And then I can use the Josie Moran at night with my moisturizer and really, really moisturize, deeply moisturize my skin. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. So anyway, um, so since I didn't feel like going anywhere today or doing anything and my nails are in such bad shape, I thought what I would do is I would go ahead and start um, working on, now I've torn my, I don't know if you can see, you see all this? That's called Christmas tree injuries. I mean, I've got like little nicks and cuts all over my arms and hands from, you know, decorating my tree. I think you guys get that. I mean, you know. Another thing that I'm going to be using, um, I picked up here that I was gonna mention to you um, while I'm doing my nails, is this is the Clinical Anti-Aging Eye Serum. It's called Tight Eye. Um, I found out about this from Wayne Goss, and I've had it forever. Um, but it's supposed to show you visible results in five minutes. You put it on, you wait five minutes, and then you rinse it off. And it's supposed to tighten the appearance of wrinkles and such around your eyes and smooth it out. 
So I think we're gonna try that maybe in the morning. Um, just after, you know, I've washed my face for the morning and, you know, gotten all of my skincare off and that sort of thing because it just it's an anti-aging serum, the serum, the original eye tightener. Reduces the appearance of lines, wrinkles, and crow's feet. Tightens and smooths skin around the eyes. It's got hyaluronic acid in it. And it says for best results, use this for all skin types. It's topical, non-invasive. But anyway, I found out about this. It wasn't it wasn't cheap at all. It was really expensive. But, I mean, I, everything that I've ever purchased that Wayne Goss has recommended has been a hit. And so, why I haven't used that yet, I don't know. So, what I'm going to do in the morning, I mean, guys, you can see this. Um, a lot of it is lack of sleep. I'm looking really, really rough right now from lack of sleep, but I'm going to go in with this. It's called Nail Aid. It's a keratin three-day growth. I don't know if you can see that. But it just says keratin. I got this, at, and it's uh, Nail Aid. This came from Walmart. I heard about this. It's Biosense Nail Solutions, but it's just a keratin treatment that, you, you know, you paint your nails with this before you do anything else to your nails. Um, this little hole in my nails, <laughs> uh, in my nail right there, using this has actually, it's made my nails grow. They're not necessarily that much stronger, but it's made them grow so much faster than if I were not using it. I've been able to tell a difference and it's just at Walmart in the nail care aisle, um, so I'm just gonna go in, it's clear. I'm just gonna paint my nails with a good coating of this. And um, then what I do is after I do that, I go in with my um, nail color. I've noticed that this not only does it kind of like boost and feed my nails, but I've also noticed that it's a great base because it protects my nails from the harsh chemicals in polish. And it's kept my nails from turning yellow. And I figured since I have this actual hole in my nail where it poked through to my nail bed, um, I mean, it can't hurt, that's for sure. But since I've been using this, um, my nails have been growing. They still peel and they still chip. They're not um, as bad as they were though. And um, I do believe that this keratin treatment is making a difference. So if you're not one to paint your nails very often and you have thin nails and you keep them short, I would try this stuff because I think you'll notice that um, they'll grow faster, especially if what you're doing is like me, you're taking a break from gels or acrylics or whatever, and you're just trying to get your nails to grow out past that you know point where they've just been sanded and drilled and stuff, which is what I've been doing. Mine have grown out much faster this time, and I've been using this, and I really do like it. So, um, one thing that I've noticed about my nails is that I also have been using, it doesn't matter what nail brand. Now, it does work better with Essie, but um, this is the Essie Top Coat, and it is the gel top coat. It's called the Gel Setter. It's a top coat. It's got the silver, it, it doesn't come just individual. It's like in an actual package but it's got this silver thing and it just says in red right here, it says Gel Setter by Essie. And the whole idea here is to make any of your Essie polishes into a gel polish. And so I have experimented and I've used it with, you know, of course Essie. I also used it with this one, which is by Lauren B Beauty, um, which is a company that used to get that all the time and a subscription box or something like that. So I have several colors of it. I tried it with this. This is more of a magenta pink than it is. You can see it's close to the color of my shirt. Um, and then I also, this last time, I used it with the OPI. And this is just um, the Thrill of Brazil. It's a bright red, bright candy apple red. And I really love that color for this time of year. I also have used it on top of, I got this on sale. Um, it was reduced to $3.99, but it is, um, 
It's just a uh, topper, a glitter topper, and it's called Pop the Cork. But it's such a pretty gold um, glitter. And um, I'm just gonna paint my nails again. And I'm going to top it with this so that it sets it and it does really truly make it more of like a gel than it does just your average, you know, kind of thing. Um, with just a plain topper, like, um, I mean, now, such a Vite, which you can get at, um, you can get the, you know, Sally Beauty or wherever, that's just not the best top coat. The best top coat in the world is um, the one that I've told y'all about, it's HK Nails. Oh my gosh, that's the best. And you can actually use the whole bottle without it getting too thick or anything like that. I really like that. But since I've discovered this Essie gel coat, considering that I do my nails really often because they chip, I just like this one better. It seems to, um, it just seems to work better for me. That's really all I can say. That stuff, it does, you can see, you know, it's shiny, but it's already dry. Just with us sitting here talking. It dries super, super fast, this keratin treatment that is. And so then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in and I'm going to paint my nails with this red. I'm going to do an accent nail with this uh, sparkle on top of the red. Then I'm going to top it with my Essie Gel. And that's going to be it for the day. So I'm going to start using the skincare um, tonight before bed. Um, I'm going to do exactly like it said, five drops. And I'm going to massage around, you know, my eyes and my forehead. And then I'm going to do five more drops. I'm going to do um, my jawline, my neck, and then my you know, my palms, I'm going to do that, you know, on the rest of my face. And um, we'll see what happens. If it breaks me out, then it breaks me out. But, I mean, you know, I've got time to clear up before Christmas. <laughs> That's really all I care about. And then in the morning, um, I'll start out with this uh, clinical eye treatment. And because I was expensive, I need to use it. And if it will tighten any of this that I have going on, when you don't get a lot of sleep and you already have these deep, dark crevices and they're you know they're discolored i mean you guys know what i go through with those and your face is dry um you know it um it's hard now, another thing that i use it this is by, uh pure it's the hydrogel lift you guys have seen me i use this before it's just got a little uh protective cap but it looks like a giant chapstick i mean i could run it up and you could see but this, guys, is the best thing under the eye. I've got to wear, now that it's winter time again, I'm using it again, but it, it moisturizes and makes your under eye feel cool and refreshed and moisturized. And I like to use it a couple of times a day, whether I'm using makeup or not. But lately, before I put my makeup on, I've been putting it on before I even start anything, so. That's been working out really well. So yeah, I'm gonna try this few things and I'm gonna finish paint my nails and that's pretty much all there is for today. So um, if I can get this up, I will, but it's late. Um, I don't feel well. I really just wanna go to bed. I've slept a lot today because my stomach was hurting and I didn't feel well and I really need to go get me some water and uh, try to hydrate some more. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for the vlogging. I just wanted to kind of tell you guys, you know, what I've been using with my nails and I have found success in that and tell you about the skincare that I'm about to start trying and we're going to see if it helps, you know. Um, we're going to see if it helps, you know, since that has hyaluronic acid in it, it should help with maybe my texture and some of these, like, these spots, you know, that I've been having or whatever. So I've got a spot right here, and then I've got a spot right here, and then the texture. It's better since I did the clay mask the other night. That really helped a lot. I mean, it really does. That L'Oreal mask is really good. And you can, if you have a lot of acne, you can get the one that's, uh, I think it's green, and it's supposed to be uh, good for, you know, acne sufferers. It's supposed to help, you know, like not just suck out all that yuck stuff, but it's supposed to also um, medicate the acne blemishes. So, you know, and take down the redness from them and that sort of thing. So there's different options and they actually have one now out that's brand new that's yellow and it's for brightening. So once I get beyond all of this, you know, um, 
newness when it comes to taking my estrogen. <laughs> Once I get through this, I think that um, I'm gonna try the brightening just to see, you know, cause I'm getting really low on the clay mask anyway. And if I'm gonna buy another one, I think I'll go with the yellow one and see if it brightens up because I have so much, see, I have a spot right here, but I also have like these little um, marks, you know, that just age spots from too much sun exposure and being old and that sort of stuff. So guys, I'm just gonna sit here and I'm gonna paint my nails red and try to stay festive and try to stay in a good mood. <laughs> I'm gonna continue watching Netflix. I'm still hooked on Scandal. Guys, I am so in love with Scandal. Oh my gosh, I can't wait till it's over. And I mean, I may need to put a disclaimer here that there's a very big possibility that I could blow this for you, but I am at the point where Millie has just um, kind of separated from the president and doing her own thing politically. And um, so if you're not up to this point or not, you might want to turn that off, but that's where I'm at. I'm at the point where Liv, uh, you know, Olivia is, um, she's made a decision about the president that is, you know, it has just become very explosive. And um, it seems as though at this point that she may have gotten a hand on her father. So, um, yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I didn't watch it when it was on TV. This is my first time watching it, and I'm in love with it. My son said he loved it, and, um, you know, of course, my son loves anything to do with the government. He loves anything to do with politics. He loves all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, he loves history. He loves all of that kind of stuff, and so, um, you know, this drama and everything, it's just right up his street. It really is, so... Um, he told me, he said, you gotta watch Scandal. You've gotta watch it. Mom, you will love it. You will love it. And so I finally finished The Vampire Diaries because I never saw that either. And um, he told me between The Vampire Diaries and Scandal, those were the two, two best ones on Netflix in his opinion. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm just, um, I'm gonna hit the bed early. Um, I actually took a long nap today. I'm about to sneeze. Purple cow, purple cow, purple cow. Works every time. <laughs> See how red my nose is? I was just about to sneeze. Say purple cow, purple cow, and it won't make it won't mess up your makeup. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna retire early. Um, I'm gonna put Izzy up on the bed. Um, I gave her a little bit of cornbread tonight because I haven't made cornbread in forever and she loves it. And so I gave her a little bit of cornbread and now she's begging for something. What I don't know. It could be anything in this world. She's very demanding sometimes, but I'm gonna go get me a um, bottle of water and I am going to settle in and let my nails dry while I watch some more Scandal. Um, we're at the 23 mark. I just may go ahead and upload this tonight. We'll just see. It'll just be a late upload, but I told you guys that there may be some that are late uploads. But anyway, that covers my nail care. That covers some skincare that I'm going to be trying. It covers uh, my entertainment. <laughs> and it also covers the fact that I didn't go and have that test done. So I don't know anything. But I haven't had that procedure done. So I'll have to reschedule. But I do appreciate your prayers on that. you know. And I'll let you guys know when it comes time. One last thing I meant to mention. I had it right here in front of me. This is called, It's you can get this at Sally Beauty, and it is a Mango Magic. It's cuticle oil. has a little leaf inside of it, a little mango leaf. This is the best cuticle oil next to the Burt's Bees uh, cuticle treatment. Uh, it's like, it's sort of the consistency of chapstick, but it comes in a little round tin. I keep it in my purse, but this one is wonderful to the cuticles. So that's something else that I'll be using tonight too to work on my cuticles because they are dry. So, yep, that's the end of my day. That's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the night. I haven't done a whole lot today. I've done some crafting stuff. Um, I did film a video, of course. Got to keep it up. Um, but... I took a nap, and now I'm going to do my nails and retire. So, I hope you guys have a great evening. I hope that you've enjoying um, my videos. I hope you enjoyed the flipbook one. I knew that it was a really long video, but um, I thought it was a really cool way to do a flipbook with envelopes. And so, if you didn't watch that, go to my main channel and watch that. Um, and, yeah, I'm enjoying doing vlogmas for you guys. And, um... 
I don't have the most exciting life, but you know, the things that I do. Can you hear her whimpering? She's driving me crazy. Baby girl, stop. I don't know what she's after, but anyway, I'm gonna go tend to her, get me something to drink, and I'm gonna continue watching Scandal and do my nails, and that's it. I hope you guys have a great night. Bye.